I'm Jeff Mackey Mason. For those of you who don't know, I'm the Dean of the School of Information, and I'm delighted to have you all here and welcome you to homecoming and to our homecoming celebration. Uh, before I introduce our homecoming speaker, I have the opportunity to present our annual alumni awards, so I would like to take a few minutes to do that. Each year, we recognize alumni who have had significant career success in their fields by presenting first a distinguished alumni award and a new entrepreneurial and innovation alumni award. Our distinguished alumni award this year goes to Michelle Light, who received her MSI from us in 1999. Michelle, unfortunately, was unable to make it to town today, but I would like to tell you about her accomplishments anyway so that you can enjoy uh, her, the wonderful things she's been doing and representing the school in her career. Michelle's the Director of Special Collections at the University of Nevada, Las Vegas. She's an innovator and leader in archival theory and practice and was recently inducted as a fellow of the Society of American Archivists, the highest honor bestowed by that organization. In one of her first positions as an archivist at Yale University Library, Michelle developed and implemented a database of archival authority records for Yale University units, which then informed her contributions to the international group that created the encoded archival context. For those of you who are archivists, you'll appreciate that. For those of you who have been archival students, you may or may not appreciate it. She later worked as the head of Special Collections, Archives, and Digital Scholarship at the University of California, Irvine, where she implemented a virtual reading room that allows researchers from across the globe to access born digital records. She also led a multi-campus University of California task force in creating guidelines for efficient archival processing. In 2002, Michelle published an article entitled Colophons and Annotations, New Directions for the Finding Aid, which has contributed to some of the most influential philosophical and practical discourse in the archival community since. Colophons is a required reading in many archives management courses, and it's been cited many, many times in the scholarly literature. The article was co-authored by another UMSI graduate, Thomas Rye, who got his degree in 1996, and was recently named the Florence Fearington Librarian at Harvard's Houghton Library. So another success among our alumni. Please join me in expressing our pride and uh, excitement in the accomplishments of Michelle and her recognition with this award. Our next alumni award is a fairly new award that appropriately goes to a fairly recent graduate. I'm pleased to present the Entrepreneurial and Innovation Alumni Award to Emily Puckett Rogers. Emily received her MSI from us in 2010. Since then, she's been busy gathering awards and praise for her work at Open Michigan and at the University of Michigan Libraries. After graduation, Emily started work as the Open Education Coordinator at Open Michigan, which is our organization that provides educational resources freely to the world followed by a position as Special Projects Librarian at the University of Michigan Libraries. In 2013, Emily was named one of Library Journal's Movers and Shakers in the Innovator category for her work at Open Michigan. Emily's also heavily involved in maker culture in Ann Arbor, where she coordinates and provides marketing assistance as a board member of A Squared Geeks, which is a local nonprofit maker maker-focused organization dedicated to opening the tech culture to everyone. If you're not familiar with maker culture, it's been taking the, uh, particularly the young world of innovators by storm. Uh, it's a do-it-yourself uh, movement to start recapturing and reclaiming information and other types of technologies to express creativity and to express innovation, rather than just all everybody becoming users of, say, Facebook, enabling people to take control of it inexpensive information technology and to do something creative and innovative with it. And Emily's been one of the leaders in the local maker community. The Alumni Society Board made the decision to present this award to Emily last summer. I note that because otherwise it might seem just a little bit suspicious because before the award could be presented, we hired Emily back to work for us. <laughs> so Emily is now our program manager for our school's new and growing entrepreneurship program. We're absolutely delighted to have her come back to the school. Uh, she didn't have to win this award to uh, get hired, uh, but we're delighted both for the award and for her joining us again at the school. Join me in congratulating Emily Puckett Rogers. <laughs> Thank you. 
Larry Mondry is a Southeast Michigan native who graduated from Boston University. And he spent the last few decades in Dallas, where he began working for a small, at the time, startup company called CompUSA in 1990. He ended up as the CEO of CompUSA in 2003. But while you can take the CEO out of Michigan, you couldn't take the Michigan out of this CEO. Larry's passionate about the state and the school, even though he is not one of our alumni. He comes back and visits regularly, and he says that it's in his blood. When I say University of Michigan, I say it with the pride of an alumnus, Larry tells us. That's why we're especially proud today to announce that Larry Mondry is the recipient of our very first UMSI Honorary Alumnus Award. Larry and his wife Susan made the first scholarship gift to our new Bachelor of Science of Information program. They found UMSI a natural fit for their philanthropy. Their hope is that providing financial opportunity for undergraduates to receive an education from SI, this scholarship can help students broaden their minds and their experiences to become world-changing information leaders. Since Larry's also our homecoming speaker, let me provide a little more information on his background. I mentioned that he was the chief executive officer of CompUSA from 2003 until 2006. Currently, he is the CEO of Apollo Brands, a manufacturer and distributor of consumer electronics. From 2012 to 2014, Larry served as CEO of the Flexi Compress Corporation, a rent-to-own retailer. And prior to that, he was president and chief executive officer of CSK Auto Corporation, a specialty real retailer of automotive aftermarket parts. You may be noticing a pattern here. Uh, honorary alumnus, leader, and best. Since 2006, uh, sorry, since 2005, Larry has served on the board of directors of Micron Technology, which is one of the industry leaders in semiconductor development. He'll be speaking about his industry experience and his perspectives on information in the 21st century. Please join me in welcoming today's speaker and the most recent alumnus of the School of Information, Larry Mondry. <laughs> 